Welcome back to AM Northwest. African elephants in the wild could go extinct in as little as 10 years, but one organization is working hard to save them. Here to tell us more about these remarkable creatures is the Ge executive director of the CODA Foundation, Debbie Ethel. Good to have you with us. Thank you. First, talk to me about what CODA does. Yeah, so CODA stands for Keepers of the Ark. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think we all are, since we have the power to actually prevent elephants from going extinct. So I'm a conservation research scientist, and I've studied a group of about 400 elephants in Kenya for the last 20 years and based on that research I tell their stories to engage people and to try to teach them more about elephants while I bring the science behind the story to life. Well tell me some of the most remarkable things that we maybe haven't, haven't heard. Yeah well my favorite thing is elephant communication because most people don't realize that elephants communicate using infrasonic sound waves which are low frequency sound waves that travel really far distance. So elephants actually can communicate 20 miles and most people don't know what? that. What? Yeah 20 miles. Miles. Wow. And so, and it's silent, so it's lower than what we can hear. Right. So, um, the other great thing is that we think elephants can actually communicate much further than 20 miles because they can actually pick up infrasonic vibrations through their feet. So this is, this is fairly new science and this yeah. has kind of, you know, broken the whole thing wide open. Why are we losing so many elephants? Well, they're not, they're being poached faster than they can reproduce. Oh, no. So it takes an average of six years for an elephant uh, to reproduce and so they can do it every four but the average is six right so at the rates that they're you know being poached that they just cannot keep up is it true that elephants have a great memory oh they have an amazing memory it's what I tell people is just think about me and you just think about your friends and how long you can remember something and elephants seem to mimic humans um, in their maturity level and how they age um, all the way through their life so if you remember somebody back when you were in kindergarten and if you remember them now an elephant can remember something as far back as then too so they mimic our memory. Is that why they say they can remember humans if they haven't seen that human in a while they see the human 20 years later they remember them? Yes exactly. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's okay amazing. Um, what else can, what else is interesting about elephants that we may not have learned about? Well one of the things that I talk to people about is that they have one of the most powerful senses of smell in the entire animal kingdom. So on the top of their skull they have these two huge holes called the olfactory bulb and on and, and inside there they've been able to identify two thousand genes dedicated to scent alone in elephants. So if you compare that to humans, we only have 400. And if you look at a German Shepherd, which is the greatest sniffer of the canine right. kingdom, they only have 1,000. So that, you know, and because there's so much real estate dedicated on their skull to the olfactory system, right. we know that they can smell incredibly well. Well, that means that they can smell the human or the exactly. whatever coming close to them. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's talk about how can we save them? Well, we are endorsing, uh, we're one of the endorsers of the Save Endangered Animals Oregon campaign. Yeah. That's a local campaign to stop illegal trafficking of 12 endangered species, which includes elephant ivory and, and rhino horn. So we need 126,000 signatures by July 1st, and so we're about 20,000 behind that. Um, so I'm asking people to go to our website, find that link, go ahead and download a petition sheet, and have your friends and family just send in signatures. Or look for us. We're out at the farmer's markets, and we're at the Rose Festival, and we're holding these cute little, you know, signs of animals, sea turtles, yeah. which are one of the animals on the list and um, and help us get this on the on the measure by July so Oregon and, and I mean California and Washington have already passed this with flying colors so this will help stop the um, wildlife trafficking in the state of Oregon which is a huge problem I can't understand why we can't stop the poachers what it why can't we do that well it's a, that's a very complicated question and it has a lot of different moving parts so what we're focused on is sort of stopping it here in the United States okay. and there's the federal law and then there's the state law. So the federal law, you know, Obama just pushed a law just uh, last, uh, just a couple days ago that just stopped most ivory importation into the United States. So that doesn't apply though to state laws, which is what this initiative is that we're working so hard okay. on. So that'll close a loophole within the state, and that actually makes a, a much bigger impact than people think. So if we can get that. I did see, and you, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, uh, I, I, I see uh, uh, somewhere I might have been on Facebook, but where the elephant's tusks were painted pink, and that yes. supposedly helped them from being poached. Yeah, it's not something that I'm aware of. I know about the, the tusks being painted pink, mm -hmm. but I'm not aware that this is helping the situation at all. So the poaching numbers have come down recently slightly in some areas, right. only because of the great ivory burn in Kenya. The price of ivory has just dropped by half, which is helping the situation. We have many states getting ready to pass this law in the United States. I mean, the United 
United States is number two in the demand for illegally poached ivory. I don't world. understand that. Yeah, it's a really huge right. problem here. So that's what we're working so hard to educate people about right. elephants and get them engaged somehow and, and help us get an initiative. Back. How do you feel about zoos? Well, I think zoos are great. Yeah. And so I think that... you know, the um, Oregon Zoo has this incredible elephant compound. Yeah, yeah, I worked up there for two years on a research study, and it was phenomenal. Some of the greatest researchers I worked with were at the zoo. So I think that the any anything that any zoo is going to do to improve the lives of elephants is a wonderful thing. You know, I get asked all the time if it's enough. It's not enough, unfortunately. And I wish I could say that it was, because they need so much more room to move around. But it is an amazing improvement from where we were, even right. just 20 years ago so that it's still a wonderful wonderful thing you know you see oftentimes two videos of um, mama elephants with their baby elephants they yeah. really have a bond and they really have families don't they yes yes the um, the females all live together for their entire life and because of this communication piece that we were just talking about you know we thought for or, or it was it was taught to lots of people for years and years that bulls actually are solitary and go out on their own we know now that's not really true they're communicating over these large distances even wow. though they might be n not next to any, you know, their elephants from their family, right. they are communicating over these really long distances. So, um, so they are an incredibly social group. They will remain together for the rest of their lives. They will revisit areas that family members have died year after year after year. You know, they've known they've been known to bury their dead with branches and and uh, rocks and even humans that they've cared about. They've been known to do this as well. So their capacity for feeling is is so similar to the humans it, it just kind of blows me away as the right. science keeps going oh this yeah. is absolutely incredible yeah. we'll tell folks if they'd like to find out more we'll put the information on our website for great. you and find out about the petition and all of that thank you very much and keep thank up you. the great work it's my pleasure all right.